car does like to get snappy on me so when I get on the throttle, so... Yo, what's going on guys? It's Kevin, back at it again. Today's video, it's gonna be about the 9th Gen Civic Si. I swapped it out for my Lexus. Usually when I swap out my cars, uh, one of them's in storage, the other one I drive. I swapped them out, reason because Every time I drive the Lexus, somebody's always trying to smack into me, swerve into my lane, and they're not even looking or paying attention. I guess that's what you call SoCal drivers here, especially in Long Beach. It is trash over there. Or maybe it's the color blue and people just wanna, I don't even know, wanna ram into me. But anyways, I am in the FG4, as you guys can tell. And I thought I'd do a video about the car. I recently installed my Action Clutch Stage 2. So this is gonna be kind of like a review video on the clutch. And personally, in my opinion, I it's it's kind of stiff for me, stiff versus um, OEM, but this clutch really holds power well. I know on my OEM clutch, I was slipping like heavily and it was not holding any type of power. Anytime I got onto VTEC, I would, I would have to shift early because the power just wasn't there and would just slip sometimes so i installed my new clutch from a shop i'll link it somewhere right here i want to say or over here all right so this is the action clutch stage two in here is my oem clutch that i had the guy gave it back to me he said there's still life on it left i want to say there's about like 20 percent left in this clutch it's still good I told myself, might as well just change it out. Save me the hassle. And I don't want to break down in the middle of the road. God damn. Um, damn. Thing is nasty. Uh, I will leave a link to the clutch that I bought. This is the, I want to say, item number for the clutch that I bought. There's an action clutch stage two. In my opinion, it's pretty good. I don't really know much about, I don't really know much about clutches but since i know i'm going supercharged soon in the summer thought i would install it anyways and i heard good things about this clutch the car still runs perfectly fine i just prefer not to drive it as much since this is my i want to call this my project car now and it's no longer a daily and the reason being why I'm slowing down on parts and stuff, guys, is because slowing down on parts and stuff is because I have to, I'm trying to move out currently. So I'm trying not to buy so much parts. This car is still running healthy, perfectly fine. Nothing is wrong with it. I love this car. It's kind of hard filming a video with driving manual. I know the Lexus, I was, it's so easy to film a video because it's automatic, but you know, manual just hits different and it's kind of hard to film, which is why I haven't been posting that many videos for you guys, but I'm back. Hopefully I can post some more, see if I can do this. does like to get snappy on me so when i get on the throttle so keep that in mind guys it's kind of hard what was i going to say oh supercharger i'm sorry i keep saying this again and again time after time but i am gonna install it this summer i just been busy with school it's my last year so that's what i've been trying to knock out hearing VTEC. Here's a little downshift for you guys. Here at college, so hopefully once I finish, I can start doing what I want to do. Definitely do want to go back to school. 
get my ASC cert. I am looking for a tuner. If you guys know any good tuners for Kraftwerk Supercharger for the 9th gen, let me know. There was this one shop that I was gonna take it to, but now they don't answer my phone calls. So I'm kind of over them and it's just a whole headache with them. So yeah, but this Action Clutch Stage 2 is pretty good. I, I honestly love it. I miss hearing VTEC as well. I'll rev bomb it for you guys right now. And I would like to take this car to say the track or Irwindale, see what this car can do. That would be really fun since I have not gone. And if any of you guys are going to the Grand Prix, I will be there on Friday. Yeah, I hope to see you guys there. Clutch is really grippy and it's stiff. I wanna say mainly because I have not driven this car after I got it installed. got the clutch installed I did not drive it as much I immediately swapped it back to my Lexus mainly because I wanted to keep this car a project car and I didn't want to blow out the clutch again but I mean since learning my lesson I've been slowing down I haven't really been racing anybody or downshifting as much as before so that's a plus there thing that i do want to mention heavily if you guys get this clutch please make sure you have either k tuner or a Data because your car will misfire i did like two pulls with the new clutch in before the ecu figured it out this comes with a lightweight flywheel and your car will not detect that and it'll automatically think that you don't have a flywheel because it's too light it's lighter than oem so make sure you guys have one of these on hand and can turn off the misfire detection I had the homie, one of my close homies, turn it off for me. I'll link here, 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 so somewhere, somewhere on here. I'll link him. Rogelio, thank huge, huge shout out to you because I would not be driving this car if it wasn't for him. He turned off my misfire detection, and I swear, guys, my check it. Every light came on, check engine, and it said misfire. I was not even able to shift in. I was able to shift, but there was like no power. The car felt really weird, it felt dead. It did not feel like this at all. But huge shout out to him because he fixed my misfire detection. So thank you. And this car is running prime again. And I love, I, I definitely miss driving this car. It's something about driving manual that that's pretty fun. It's more, it's more engaging than driving automatic. But let me show you guys some cinematics. Guys, that's gonna do it for this video personally i would highly recommend this clutch for anyone that's looking to make more power instead of running oem clutch action clutch is a really good brand in my opinion it's my first time using it and driving it around it feels pretty good it seems to hold power really well so this is the update video for the fg4 anyways uh, hopefully i'll bang out more videos for you guys i just don't know what to post anymore i've been trying to slow down because of school but since I'm almost done, hopefully we'll get there. And please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for the support and for watching. Road to a thousand subs soon, hopefully. So please hit that subscribe button. It helps out the channel a lot. And I want to say we're a fourth of the way there. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.